Trump made this incredible, incredible political division in this country. On the one hand, progressives, intelligent people, Democrats, small d, Democrats, capital D, public health people, progressives. I said that already. On the one side. The other side, Christian fascists who don't give a shit about anything except their stupid goddamn religion and how they use it to beat people into submission. Now, did Trump create that? He didn't create that. But he made things so much worse. Because to so many of these Christian fascists, and I'm not telling you anything you don't know, he was the next best thing to an actual Messiah. And the Christians are not entitled to a Messiah anyway. It's the Jews who are waiting for a Messiah. These goddamn Christian fascists, you don't want a Messiah, you idiots. It has nothing to do with your religion. You stole everything from the Jews anyway. I mean, Paul, who practically wrote the New Testament, was actually Saul. He was a Jew. And he was insane out of his goddamn mind. The stuff he wrote in all his letters to all the churches, which, uh, the early churches, which is bullshit to aggrandize him. So you Christian fascists, you don't even have a Messiah, except in your twisted minds. So along comes Trump. Oh, here he is. Go read your book of Revelation, you nutcases and Re-educate yourself, because I know you were educated once on the Antichrist. But Trump, this orange bastard, had this finely honed talent of ripping and tearing at any division he found in the body politic in this country. That's what he used. Any, any little weakness, any little disagreement, go after it like a goddamn dog after a a rat just just rip at it chew on it and he fully understood the explosive impact of his his disdain his put downs for people who wore masks and his refusal to do it he knew that turning it into a political issue rather than the essential public health measure that it is but not to trump God, the orange bastard and the scum around him picked up on that term, the China virus, in order to cover up their own failings, their own ignorance, their own stupidity. And in addition to that, of course, Trump, I don't know about the scum around him, but the chief scum, Trump, saw a potential there to divide once again. And in that process, maintain power and he took it hi truth seekers mike malloy here as you know we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the progressive voices network so that means you get fewer program interruptions no corporate commercials and lots of profanity but our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program it's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com. And never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.